Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into a new whiteboarding application called Cosmic. And the way this basically works is that you have the ability to create mood boards and whiteboards and these whiteboards are called universes. So we have an outer space theme on the whole application. Actually their pro plan co uh, is called Mars and they are coming with a Saturn plan later this year. More on the pricing later on the in the video, but let's take a look at the features because we have a set of basic features that we expect in every single whiteboarding and uh, whiteboarding application and in most uh, note taking applications as well. Since some people actually use these whiteboards as their note taking app, even though I wouldn't recommend it, but. We are mainly going to focus uh, and talk about this as a whiteboarding experience, but basically you have the ability to add uh, text stickers, which is just basically uh, post-it notes, but I wouldn't like to call them post-it notes uh, inside of this application because you actually have the ability to add post-it notes here as well. The main difference seems to be that uh, these um, cards right here, text cards have a lot more text formatting compared to the post-it notes. Uh, so you have the ability to do both here. Both here you have basic text formatting like bold, italic, underlined, uh, and you have the ability to change the size of the text here as well from small all the way to huge. Uh, so we have both a way to take text notes and uh, a way to use post-it notes uh, inside of this application. And you can make this bigger or smaller depending on what you need. So we can play around with the size of these post-it notes. So that's uh, two things that you would expect from a note-taking application, from a whiteboarding application. Uh, and uh, the next thing is the drawing tools. This isn't necessarily something I would expect, but it is a really cool feature to have. You have the ability to change the color of this. That's the first thing I'm going to do uh, because uh, it won't show, white won't show on top of white, but with this I can actually draw and I can sketch things or I could try to write, but that wouldn't end too well for me. Uh, it is really hard to use a, a mouse and your keyboard to do sketching on your computer, so I wouldn't recommend it for that specific purpose, but uh, I know that a lot of people actually like doing that. But what this can be good for is actually highlighting things inside of your text or even inside of PDFs, which we will get back to later because that's one of the features that make this application uh, one of the best uh, at using PDFs for research and mood boards. But again, more on that later. We have the ability to create card stickers. Uh, these are just a way to organize things. So if I now zoom out, uh, you can see that this is just a way for me to organize things. So I can move this card here and I can actually drag things inside of this card in order for this to actually be uh, organized. So I can have multiple different cards here and uh, I can actually add text so I can give them names uh, as well. Uh, and I could, for example, just give this a uh, name, call it uh, test. So test, and this would be the name of this board. Uh, of course, if you were going to use it, you would probably uh, do a bit more work to make it look pretty, but I'm just using it for this YouTube video. But that's basically what cards are. They are a form of organization. I will drag the PDF back as well as the text, and I will delete the card right here. This is a cool thing to have inside of your whiteboarding application because it gives you the possibility to do a little bit uh, of organization and to ease, more easily find the things you are looking for. Another thing this has is the ability to add tags to every object you add into the application. Another cool basic feature uh, that you would probably expect inside of whiteboard applications. Uh, 
but uh, I like the fact that it has it. Uh, not every single whiteboarding application does have something like this. This is why I'm saying that uh, this whiteboarding application can actually be used for some basic note taking uh, because it has tags and it has a pretty good search as well. You have the ability to uh, organize like this as well by adding uh, different shapes. This is a rectangle and you can do a little bit of customization to this. So you can round the corner, you can change the fill color as well as the outside color and you can change the width of the border here as well. So you have some abilities to actually uh, customize this a little bit and uh, you have Eclipse uh, and you have a polygon as well. Uh, so again, you could use this and put things inside of this to make it look more organized. Now to the main selling points of this application. The first one is the web browser here. Uh, so I could search for something in uh, Google as in this example and I can actually drag things into my whiteboard which is something a lot of applications do not offer. I haven't seen this before so just the ability to drag and drop images from your uh, from your web browser is a really cool feature. You can also uh, just mark every one of them and press this button right here to uh, change the way they uh, are set up. That is also a really neat feature inside of the application. But having uh, the ability to drag images from the web and having uh, the web browser uh, inside of your whiteboarding application is something I haven't seen before and I do like a lot. Uh, so this is a really cool feature and as I said one of the main selling points of this application. The other one being this PDF reader right here. Another thing I haven't seen in a lot of whiteboarding applications is the ability to read PDFs uh, inside of them, but not only to read PDFs. So if I click this and I press enter, I get this PDF view. I can go into full screen, uh, but I will go back uh, I just wanted to show you that you can go into full screen, but we have something called capture here. And let's say I'm actually not going to use this PDF for anything. I just found it online and wanted to use it for this video. But let's say I uh, find something really important like applications right here. I can capture this and I can press extract and I can actually have it here. And I can keep on doing that if I find something else that it, I feel like is really, really important. I can actually do, uh, uh, actually capture this as well, extract it, and I can have them like this. And I talked about the ability to uh, draw and sketch. This is where that comes in handy. So let's say these are really important things, but there are some parts of these, uh, these extracts that are more important than others. I can actually go ahead and press this and I can use either the highlighting tool and I can highlight things like this. Uh, I would actually have it a little smaller, so I would probably use this and I can highlight the text right here. If this was important, I can change the color and I can actually highlight a little bit more. And you could go ahead and do this. Or if you just wanted to uh, find a word here that you want to look up afterwards, you can actually do this as well. So really cool features using PDFs and the ability to highlight and use the sketching abilities inside of this application. Uh, so this is probably the feature I like the most. And this is really good for things like research or if you read a lot of PDFs and you have to use a lot of things from different PDFs, this is an amazing feature. One thing I would love to have inside of this application is arrows. So the ability to connect two things together. I haven't actually found that inside of here yet. That is something I would love to see uh, because I can draw a line between these two. But if I now drag this, um, this won't come with uh, my uh, 
uh, with my uh, text. So that is something uh, I would like to see a connector or some sort of arrow. I would also uh, like the ability to bring things to the front and to the back. Uh, so having the ability inside of many applications, you have the ability to right click and then move things to the back and to the front. So you can actually stack things uh, on top of each other. That's like to minor things I would like to see inside of this application. When it comes to the pricing plan, we have the free launch pad plan. This gives you five megabyte file size limit, five gigs of storage and public universes. With the Mars plan, you get the multiplayer mode, which I think is a really cool thing to have inside of here. Having the ability to have multiplayer in a whiteboard application like this is actually really cool and really good. Uh, you also get increased uh, file size limit and storage, and they are also planning another uh, plan, uh, which will uh, give you 200 gigabytes of storage. So again, increasing the limit of your storage and your file size. This costs you $7.99. This will be $12.99 and yearly. These will cost you $79.99 or $129.99. They also have a three year plan that gives you 30% off. So $199.99 and $299. 99. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.